Good morning, good morning, guys and gals. Yes, indeed, it is a good morning. We are just getting our day started. Actually, matter of fact, of speaking, we're actually just leaving our truck stop where we spent the night at. And now it's time to put the hammer down and go home, sweet home. We got us 263 miles to go until we make our home. In about four and a half hours, I would say, a little more maybe. So I know I should probably be able to make her home unless we break down, right? In but 300 yeah. feet, turn left on First Street and then turn left in 700 feet. RJ, you don't know where we're going, do you? He's trying to tell me to go make a U-turn up there somewhere. <laughs> no, he's telling me the right way. In 0 0.2 miles, take the entrance to the left on by 94 West. All right, RJ, you got it right this time. But yeah, uh, we should be home around lunchtime, I would think. That's the plan as of right now. 600 feet, take the entrance to the left on by 94 West. And I won't need to take my half an hour break anywhere because it's only like, I don't know, three hours to the border, a little over three hours. So we shall be fine to make it down to the border. Yes, indeed. It's a little cloudy today. Just kind of hoping it would be nice and sunny today. That doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So I guess we'll uh, have to deal with that. Hopefully it doesn't snow or rain or any of that crap, you know. Oh, he looks like he's got two boats behind him. <laughs> two small ones there it almost looks like, but can't quite make it out. But anyways, we'll have put the hammer down going home sweet home guys. Appreciate you guys tuning in again. It's my pleasure bringing this show to you guys. I really do enjoy making the show for you. And I hope every day that I can entertain you guys. And put a smile on somebody's face every once in a while, you know. My goal would be to put a smile on everybody's face every day, but hey. That doesn't work every day. Not everybody is in the same mood every day. Not me neither. So, so yeah. So, uh, doesn't always work, right? I am just going through Grand Forks, North Dakota, guys. Yes, indeed we are. That means we got about an hour and 15 minutes to the border. <coughs> yes, indeed gonna go down to uh, Penner's drop our trailer probably do our paperwork right away so they have that paperwork so I can pay, get paid on that because on the 18th is our cutoff day but uh, hey today is the 14th now uh, this paperwork at least gets handed in and we can probably call in a few miles uh, next week because on the 18th that's uh, Tuesday and I plan on going out on 16th on Sunday already, so I might even call in a few miles to get me a better paycheck today uh, at the end of the month, you know. But yeah, look at these guys still cutting grass over here. I guess they want to do it just before the winter comes, eh? So that way it looks nicer. In spring, I guess, when the snow is all gone. But yeah, we still got clouds in the sky. Yeah, I was hoping we would get some sunshine here pretty soon, but no way, no way, not yet anyways. But uh, hey, we gotta go home and uh, I do want to sign that t-shirt yet that uh, Jukebox had that contest there a little while ago. And I got the t-shirt there uh, throughout this week, so it's sitting there at home waiting for me. So 
I can sign it and then uh, I can send it off. Yes, indeed. Send it off to the winner. That's right. I'm holding up to my deal, so that's what we're going to do. But yeah, let's go home and do all of that stuff and I'll we'll put our truck in the shop and get the turbo looked at a little bit and all that good stuff and then go from there. Hopefully they can figure stuff out. What's causing the turbo not to react properly I guess. Hopefully they can fix that. Oh, looks like we got a border patrol guy sitting up here. So I've seen him sit here before, you know, I don't get it. It's like an hour and 15 minutes from the border, yeah, and he's sitting there and watching everybody. Like, really, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I don't know, are they worried that, you know, somebody is gonna do something when they get to the border or, or whatever? I don't get it, but oh well. They gotta keep an eye on things. Alrighty, guys, we are back in Canada. Way station ahead. Yeah, I just crossed the border here a few minutes ago. Right across the border is a scale, DOT scale, and they are open today. So we gotta go across the scale. In 300 meters. You have a sign here saying we gotta stop. And then make a U turn Before we get on the scale. In 50 meters. I know, RJ. Be quiet. Hey, yep. Put covers on those uh, big lights that you have on the front. Yeah. Okay. okay, make sure you get your covers on them because you can't have those here in Manitoba. Oh, okay. Telling me to put the covers on on my. Uh... Hey, Slipstream, do you have a switch on board your truck there that turns the uh, throttle of your uh, daytime when you lights on or off? Yeah, yeah. Now we got a fussy DOT in there. Slide left on King Street like. and then make a U turn if possible in 50 meters. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Left the scale now. Yeah, he came on the speaker and was giving me shit for them uh, spotlights that I got on the front there. He's saying that they are not allowed in Manitoba, you gotta have the cover on it. Which I've heard before too, but you know, I've had them on now for who knows how long, how many years already. Never been told anything about them yet, so. But I always do keep my covers in the truck, so that way uh, if they ever do say something, I can put the covers on, you know. So that way they, they're happy. <laughs> now when I get down the road, I take them off. <laughs> I'll just remember that for next time. And when I come up to Manitoba scale there, I'll probably put my covers on before I get there. And then, and then once I leave the scale, I can take them off. <laughs> Winnipeg scale never said anything. I've gone across there quite a few times already. Even at this scale, I've gone through there many times and they've never said anything. I don't know why this guy is complaining. I guess he's just one guy that just likes to pick on everybody, I guess. Because he was screaming at the guy behind me too. I was kind of trying to listen there what he was saying to him. And he was telling him to turn his lights on. What do you need lights for? I mean, it's a beautiful day, but he just wants to look at all the lights to make sure they're working, right? Just so that... If there's one light out, you can pull him in and give him a ticket for it, right? That's probably why he's doing that. But whatever, I don't care. I got my covers with me and he wants to give me shit for him. Whatever, I don't give a shit. <laughs> he's got his right to do that, right? And some some provinces are we are allowed to have them on, some not, I guess. Whatever, keep them on. But anyways, we'll continue on 
enjoyed our journey going home and enjoy the rest of our day. Hey guys, we're getting ready to sign this t-shirt for the winner. Yeah, we got ourselves a marker. Yeah, so let's get to the official signing. Here we go, guys. There we go. We got this t-shirt signed. So have a look at that. So let's take a look at the back. Yeah, that's the back of the t-shirt. And uh, that is the front, guys. We got it signed. There you go. We are outside again. We are at home, as you can obviously see. And we got us a little bit of a haircut. Look at that, guys. We're gonna look half decent again. <laughs> Starting to look kind of bad there with my hair all over the place and all that. And uh, guess what? We're cooking us a stew here. Look at that, eh? Yeah, why not, eh? It's always a good meal when you cook it yourself at home with the family and all that good stuff. Good time. Well, guys, dinner is served. Look at that. We are hungry. So, I hope you guys are too. I always leave you hungry, don't I? Mm -hmm. Sometimes, anyways. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me.